It is no measure of sanity to be well adjusted to an insane society. I was born in 1947 in Glendale, California, into a fairly normal American family. But that soon changed when my father, Irv Robbins, founded one of the biggest companies in American history, Baskin Robbins, 31 Flavors. The company grew and grew. We moved to North Hollywood, Rolls Royces, and Diamonds. There was an ice cream cone swimming pool in our backyard. And my dad became enamored of power and money and success. I worked with my dad and was groomed to succeed him. But as my own values were beginning to emerge, I was growing apart from my dad. My dad became friends with Richard Nixon. Nixon was propagating the war in Vietnam, and I decided to go to try to work with Dr. King. My dad doesn't like Dr. King at all. But my dad said, they don't want you there. You're going to cause trouble. By they, he meant the white power structure. I was thinking about the people I was going to help. And my dad forbade me to go. I went anyway. And I, he was, oh, he was really pissed. As it happened, my father called and he said, I still have hope for you. I know you've been moving in a different direction, but um, I think it's a phase that you're going through. If you think there's any chance that you'll come back and want to work with me, I won't sell the company. I decided to walk away from it all, to walk away from Baskin Robbins, a billion dollar inheritance, and any trust funds or money. He thought I was insane. And we didn't talk for several years after that. I moved with my wife to a little log cabin in the woods. I wrote a book. I sent my dad a copy. He replied he would not look at it. The book talks about the connection between this cruelty to animals that is involved in factory farming and the fact that the food that is produced in this way isn't healthy for us at all. By the time my dad was in his 60s, his health was deteriorating pretty badly. He had very high blood pressure, he had diabetes. The prognosis was that he could be facing the amputation of a foot or even a leg. And one day, a cardiologist takes my book and hands it to him and said, I think you should read this book. What happened next took me, my father, and the world by surprise. My name is John Robbins, and this is my story.